Hey St. James, there is nothing like a crisis to make you appreciate what you have and I so appreciate you and my opportunity to share some thoughts with you. The first couple of videos I talked about the process of grief that we are all going through and I talked about focusing on the big picture as much as possible and remembering that our country has been through some pretty significant traumas and come out on the other side, sometimes better for what we've been through. Today, I wanted to focus in a little bit more on the smaller picture, and that is to focus on what you can control and what you can make changes over and do your level best to let go of the rest. So here's a little comic relief. Uh, I would like to think about what we have control over and what we don't in terms of herding cats. And this is a picture of me trying to walk one cat on the leash who's not allowed outside while the one that is allowed outside is being a little brother and being annoying and chasing her up a tree. It really, it ended okay, but it doesn't look so good in the picture. All right, so that was just to help us remember that sometimes you just have to laugh. And now, all joking aside, let's get back to talking about what we do have control over. Some of the things that we have control over are our prayer life and how we eat, getting ourselves into a routine and getting to bed on time, getting up at the same time every day, if you have children, keep them in a routine. And also our thoughts. We have control about how we're thinking about all this. So if you are finding yourself really um, struggling with um, just the heaviness of what we're going through as a country, try to refocus your thoughts on something positive, something that you're grateful for, for example, if you pay attention, you may catch yourself thinking something like, I can't do it, or this is just all too much. Uh, those thoughts go by really fast. Sometimes they're hard to catch. But if you do catch yourself with a negative thought like that, try to replace it with something a little more positive, which is, I can do this. This isn't forever. Um, you know, I have support. So you can control your thoughts. Pay attention to what you're thinking and see if you can uh, steer those thoughts a little more positive. And then I know Father Ben has been asking us to um, reach out to others and form some small groups and have some connection. And if you haven't done that yet, I would also strongly encourage you to do that. I've been getting together with a few choir members and it's just been really nice. It's nice to have people of similar thinking to chat with and it's a good support network so I strongly recommend that and remember to control what you can and let go of what you can't so wrapping up here is my kitty doing what he does he loves to come to the park with me and the only way to stop him was to lock him in the house but he enjoys it yeah, so much and so many people get so many pleasure out of seeing him that I've just realized I need to just let him do his thing. So here he is being cute at the park. Control what you can, let go of the rest, take care everybody.